Good morning, Sporting Hill kindergartners. Welcome to our school year. My name is Mrs. Shattuck, and I'm the principal here at Sporting Hill. This is what I look like with my mask on, and this is what I look like with my mask off. So today, um, during this video, I'm gonna be talking to you with my mask off, but when you're here at school, I'll be wearing my mask. So um, usually we uh, do this training or do this presentation in our gym. Um, so since we can't do that and bring you all in, I wanted to go over some of the important details that you need to know um, for the beginning of our school year. So we have, um, I wanted to start with our office staff because they're very important. We have 580 kids at Sporting Hill, about 145 have opted to do our CBVA, which is our virtual academy. So we'll have a smaller capacity here at school um, this year, at least for the first semester. But any questions you have, it's important that you call our office and um, ask Mrs. Emmerich or Mrs. Hennessy. They have the answers to everything. Um, our nurse is Mrs. Simon. Our school counselor is Ms. Mackin. And um, right now we have an open position for our school psychologist. So we'll, we'll be hiring somebody in the near future. But um, like I said, we would prefer if you have questions to give us a call. We're really limiting the number of visitors in our school this year. So give us a call and we'll be able to help you at school. Ms. Mackin is our school counselor and she's a great resource. That's why I wanted to put her email up here. If your child is having trouble with school or um, if you need her to meet with your um, child we have lessons that she does with even the, with the whole class, but she's just a great resource. So please um, contact her if you have any questions. Again, you can also call the school and just, um, and they'll get you in contact with Ms. Mackin. Ms. Simon is our school nurse and um, she wanted me to share a few things with you. She's, we're, we're allowed to give out medications here at school, but the medications need to be in the original bottle um, and then we need your written permission. We have forms here in the office that you would fill out and they're actually online too. So, um, and then the prescription meds also need a health care order. So the form that you fill out would be um, signed by your um, child's doctor. It's important, um, I guess even more so this year, but that you keep the information in Skyward up to date. Many, many times we try to get a hold of families and we can't get a hold of them because the numbers have changed. So make sure that your information in Skyward is um, up to date. There's nothing worse than us having a child in um, the office that's um, sick or vomiting and we can't get a hold of a parent. So make sure that that information is always up to date. If you change your email, if you change any phone numbers, if any of your emergency contacts change their phone numbers, please just hop into um, Skyward and update your information. We have a um, very involved PTO and we would love for you to be involved with our PTO too. We're gonna have meetings. Our meetings are gonna be out on, um, out in the back playground area where we have a, a covered area. So we're going to sit outside for our meetings as long as we can until it gets too cold. So Jenny Gary is our president and um, she has two boys that will be in virtual academy. Carissa um, Kramer is our vice president. She has two boys. They'll be here at school. Trisha Frage, uh, Fisher, she has two boys too. They will be um, 
virtual. And then Jennifer Pace and Emma Seffi, they um, have fifth grade girls. So we appreciate that they're volunteering. We would just um, hope that you would get involved and help um, with the great activities that they do. So I can talk um, for quite some time about um, everything at school, but my top four priority lists is I wanna talk about rules and expectations, our attendance procedures, volunteers, and then um, communication ways that I will be getting in touch with you as opposed to um, your classroom teacher. So our vision here at Sporting Hill is learning to be a better version of me. Our students learn this, um, this the vision um, as we talk about it. And it really is a good format to teach students that making mistakes is okay. When we make a mistake and we learn and we change our behaviors, that's how we're becoming better versions of ourselves. I've been working uh, my whole life on becoming a better version of myself and actually is still working on that. And um, this summer has really uh, challenged me to think outside of the box and become a better version of, of myself. So you will be hearing about that as we move through the school year. Our theme this year is Energy Bus. And the Energy Bus is a book um, that, that um, John Gordon wrote. And it was a adult a chapter book about a man named John who just was having a bad day and he gets on this bus and the bus driver's name is Joy. And Joy just helps him um, think differently about his life. Well, then the author made a children's book about this. So we're gonna be using the children's book. Um, the adult book has 10 um, rules. The children's book has five. So you can see the five rules are create a positive vision, fuel your ride with positive energy, um, no bullies allowed, love your passengers and enjoy the ride. So each month we'll be working on different aspects of the energy bus. Um, and again, that's something that you'll be hearing about as we move through the school year. Our school-wide expectations, um, really it's the bulldog way to be. And they all focus around being respectful, being responsible, being ready and being safe. We, um, we talk about our rules a lot and um, are just using them as teachable moments because we do, we want everybody to be safe here at school. We will have extra rules um, this year. For example, we're, we can only walk one way in the hallway. So we'll have directional arrows up and um, students will walk one way down the hall and um, and then another, like there's a square at our school, so we can kind of walk all the way around. We're gonna be making sure that we follow those rules. Um, we're gonna be teaching the kids about social distancing. Um, so it's gonna be a different year, but I think it's gonna be exciting. And I, I'm really encouraged by um, the positive comments that I've heard from our community about um, getting our school kids back in, um, here at school and all the rules that we do have in place to help keep our students safe. Our school-wide expectation, and we have bully prevention rules. Um, we want to, I'm gonna read all these because I just think they're very important. We will not bully other students, others. We will try to help students who are bullied we will try to include students who are left out. If you know that someone is being bullied, we will tell an adult. So bullying is aggressive, an imbalance of power and repetitive. For example, it happens a lot where we use the word bully and um, somebody was teasing another student. One time, maybe two. 
that teasing is teasing. It might be um, somebody just being mean, but it is not considered bullying at that point. It really needs to be repetitive and an imbalance of power. I will speak with students, a classroom teacher will speak with students and we will, um, we will solve the problem of teasing, but we will not label it as bullying. All right, so um, a change in the morning arrival. You have two choices, and look, I forgot to change this to two, but we used to have three choices, but there's only two choices right now. Your child can ride the bus, and again, I think our buses are going to be, you know, like about 30 to 50 percent capacity, um, or you can drop off your child. When you drop off your child, um, you're just going to drive through the front of the school. You're not going to get out of your car. Um, please have your child on the, the right side of the car so they can hop out of the car and be on the sidewalk. Those, um, the students will then walk into the building. We are going to have many staff. First of all, we'll have staff helping children out of the car. We'll have staff right in front of, right in the first door. Those staff will be taking temperatures of students. And then we'll have staff um, in the, at the next door greeting our students and welcoming them, welcoming them to school. So um, if students ride the bus, they're gonna have their temperature taken as they get off the bus. We might have some reads that are false, um, false, like a, a, a temperature, maybe they got a little bit warm on the bus. So we're going to have a holding room um, where the kids will go just for three to five minutes, um, more than likely in our nurse's office, and get their temperature then taken again, um, just to make sure. We don't, we don't want to send them home right away if um, it's a false read. So again, you can, we're asking that parents not walk their children up to school and to the door. So please stop, drop and roll, and, or you can ride the bus. So stop um, in the morning, you can drop the kids off at eight. Um, we're gonna start letting kids into the building at 8.20. And um, in PM, the teachers will get the kids at sorry, 12, um, 10. So make sure that um, you're out there and ready because the buses will also be out there um, in the afternoon when they're dropping off. So for afternoon um, dismissal, again, there are three options. Well, we actually have two options. You can ride the bus or you are um, well, you can be a permanent pickup where we know you're going to be picking up every day. A form for that will be going home um, this week via email, or you can fill out this form prior to 1045 or 230 to let us know that you will be picking up your child. Because some days, you know, they might have an appointment that you need to get them to, um, so you're, you not, you might not necessarily pick them up every day, but you'll want if you want to pick them up sporadically, you would just fill out this form to let us know that they will be picked up. Students who are being picked up will then be dismissed to the cafeteria. From the cafeteria, we will be putting students in the cars. So please do not get out of your cars. You're going to drive up. We're going to load the kids into your car and then um, you can drive away. We will have a system for this. So it's, it's a checks and balances um, and more information will be coming out on that. I will also send out this QR code, but this is the form that you would fill out if you were just, um, you just decided that you're gonna pick up your, your child um, on a random day. As you can see by, by all of our policy, our new ways of picking up, we're really trying to limit the amount of visitors that are in our um, school in order to keep our, all of our students safe. 
So attendance is going to be, um, there are some new policies coming down from the state, um, especially if your class or your student was um, had to quarantine, those absences would not be counting um, as absences and we'll have videos and activities that you can do at home with your students if that, if, if that happens. But otherwise, if your child is out sick for one day, um, please send in a note. And um, the, we can, we're still doing educational trips. We'll, um, you can do five days of an educational trip, and then they would be excused also. Absences from school um, for reasons other than that's listed above would not be um, excused. And they're, when they're not excused, they're considered unlawful. We're just asking that you please, 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 please send in a note whenever your child is absent. If you're more where you'd like to be paperless, you can go right onto Skyward and fill in the reason for your child's absence right on Skyward, so it's just done digitally. If you um, are going to be volunteering right now, we're not having any volunteers in class, but if you are gonna be considering that, um, it's important, and this is a good time to do it, is to fill out the um, criminal record check, child abuse history, and volunteer, volunteer affidavit or FBI clearance. It depends on how many years that you've been living in Pennsylvania as to which one you fill out. Again, all the information for that is on our website, but if you need help finding it, please call our office and Mrs. Emmerich or Mrs. Hennessy would be glad to help you. Today, or when you come in for um, your child to see the school and see their classroom, stop by the office if you get a chance and we can sign, um, scan your driver's license and then you will be in our system so that if we um, have an activity at school and we need to print out badges for you, you're already in there. And you, you can pre-register and have that badge already printed for you. Sometimes when we get back to um, normal school, the line for activities is out the door in order to get the name badge. So um, I just really encourage you to stop by the office and have your security, your license scans. So I will be communicating to you through um, emails. The emails come from what email you have. The address I'm using come from what emails are in Skyward. I'll be sending out information school-wide. Your teacher will send you information, usually um, through Seesaw, but um, it, again, it's just important that everything's up to date. We have a school website. We have Twitter, um, at SPH Bulldogs. We also have a Facebook page that's at SPH Bulldogs too. So please follow those. Sometimes I'm posting um, pictures on there are important information. You can see here on our website, if you go up to the parent section, you will be able to um, find where to sign in for Skyward, uh, Master Connect. There's a whole parent section with information on what you will need in order to um, stay up to date and um, it's just all, these are all the websites that we're using. Um, Master Connect is for our report cards. School Cafe is for um, lunch. Of course, your child won't be eating lunch at school, but we will in the mornings be serving bags breakfast. So if you want your child to eat breakfast at school, you just need to let your teacher know, then you can put money in their account there. So I am, um, look at, this is so important that I put it in again. Make sure that you update all your information in Skyward. You should have received an email when you registered, make sure everything's up to date. And um, I just really, really can't stress that enough. 
of how important it is for us to be able to reach you during the day. On our webpage, there's an elementary parent handbook. If you need more information on policies and procedures that we follow, dress codes, you can find that there, as well as um, a reminder that if you have any questions about attendance or about procedures, dress codes, anything, you can call us here in the office. I'm just excited about this year. It's gonna be a great year. Um, we're ready to rock and roll and see um, what the year brings us. We are bulldog strong and we're ready to take on um, this year. Please let us know if you have any questions. Otherwise, as the email that um, I attached this to, I um, said we are going to have our kindergarten kickoff and I will see you on August 26th when you're here visiting your classroom. All right, bye, thank you.